And now we are going to toss it back out to Memorial Stadium where Mac is getting us ready for the big game tomorrow. A lot of fans looking forward to seeing the Illini finally back in action. Mac. Jessica, thank you so much. We have the man, the myth, the legend, Brian Barnhart, voice of the Fighting Illini with us today. We're actually talking about fans in the stands because you know what? The last season, he actually had to announce without any fans. Brian, thank you so much for joining us. Can you explain to us what that was like? Well, I can tell you doing play-by-play -play is a great job, uh, but I think we probably took it for granted that fans are there to add that atmosphere and excitement, and the, and the team feeds off the crowd, and I think vice versa. And for us as broadcasters in this league and across the country, it was just really strange. They could pipe in noise, they could do all kinds of things to make it sound or look real, but it just wasn't the same was not the same. Yeah, we got the rod, uh, the hot rods going by here. They're having a good time right there. What are you most looking forward to tomorrow? Well, just seeing how Brett Bielma's team comes out. They've been working really hard on uh, getting their offense and defense installed. They're, they're trying to make Nebraska scout them as much as possible and not give them any hints as to what they might do. We got all these super seniors back, too, which is, uh, I think, the most in the country. So that's going to be fun to watch and, and just kind of see how it unfolds. A win would be huge. There's no secret out here. It is warm. A lot of people are probably going to be waiting until the fall time when it gets a little bit cooler. What would you say to people to get them out here tomorrow? Well, get your tickets and get them now is what I would say. Uh, I think this team is on the rise. Uh, I think it's going to be an exciting year. They've got a schedule early that is favorable for them to get off to a good start. So I would say don't mind the weather. Get out and support this team. Going to be a good time for tomorrow. Now, Jennifer has promised us expert baton twirling over here. I know that you're going to do a better job tossing over to her, so we're going to let you do that uh, over to Jennifer. All right, that's uh, it from here at near Grange Grove. Let's go across the way to lot 31, and Jennifer Roscoe is going to teach us how to twirl, I think. Yes. <laughs> dream, dream fulfilled. Brian Barnhart just introduced me.